So choose the correct entry is in the brackets below. Right? So both the tenants, both the children, they start walking in from the school, they go to their respective home. A lives closer to school than B. Or B lives closer to school than A. You have to decide which is right. What do you think? Look at the graph. Yes. P comes first. Yes or no? Yes. yes. On the graph. That means P is closer than Q is. Like I've drawn here. Understood? Yes. Sure. Yes. Everyone get that? So what does that mean? A lives closer to home. Then, uh, sorry, closer to school than P. Well, the next one. Dash starts from school earlier than dash. Look at the graphs again. B starts earlier. How can you decide that? A starts earlier. See, the graph for A starts from here when time is 0. Correct or not? But the graph for B starts from here. Am I right? Yes. So obviously this is after A starts to walk for some time, only then the B the other child starts to walk from here. Did you get that? Yes. Right? It's like A starts to walk at t equal to zero, then after some time, probably after five minutes, B starts to walk. Right? So after some time they will reach their respective homes wherever they are. Right? Clear or not clear? Yes. From the graph. C. Who walks faster than who? Faster means what? B walks faster. Faster means what? Why? When would you say if something is faster? Speed is more. That's called fast. Correct or not? So for speed to be more, velocity should also be more in value. Clear? Yes. Velocity should be more. Understood? So whose velocity is what? B. B. How do you know? Slow. Slow. Very good. Next graph is given. It yes. has more slope. B. B. This graph has more slope. That's why velocity of B is also more. Understood? Yes. Okay. Look at the graph, right? This is the graph for B and this is the graph for A. Obviously the graph of B has more slope. So B starts later but is running to the house, right? Okay. So B walks faster than A. B. A and B reach home at the same or different time. So for that you'll have to look at the graph. Different times. That is, is the time same when A reaches P and B reaches Q? Is the time same when A reaches P and B reaches Q? No. Who reaches first? B. A. A reaches home first. B. 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 This is B. Yes or no? Yes. It reaches Q over here at this time. Clear? Yes. But A reaches P at this time. So this is the time at which B reaches home and this is the time at which A reaches home. Which time is more? A, A. The time for A is more. That means who reaches first? B. B reaches home first. Clear? Yes. Okay. So although B started later, but still B reaches home first. Possible, obviously, because A might be walking very slowly and B is running. Easy to understand yes. or yes. not clear? Yes. Now, what next? Wait a second, huh? A, B overtakes B, A on the road once or twice? B overtakes A once. B will overtake A once over here at this point. Clear or not? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. See, for overtaking, it is necessary that two objects are at same position. You cannot overtake otherwise. Think about it. That is the way it was going on the road. Then, this car can overtake this one only when both are at the same place. Or the door the overtake side. No, that is it. I hope you get what I am saying. For crossing, for crossing, this is called crossing. When do you say you cross the someone? When both are at same, same. position, but moving in 
Opposite side. Side. Then you say you cropped it. And if both are at same position and moving in same direction, then we say overtake. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Right? So that's how it works. Okay. All right. So that is what we have for E. A sorry, B overtakes A, and how many times? Wow. Only one over here at this point. Okay. Yes. Now this is because it's an XT graph. Remember, in XT graph, you want to know when do two objects meet or cross or overtake. It's very easy. Just see where the graphs cross each other. Better when the graphs will go against each other, cross each other. That would mean at that point. The objects have either crossed or overtaken, right? In VT graph, it's not like that. Please, it's only true for X graph. Well, so that was about two. Now, three already discussed. Let's go to four. instruments to just put the model over it and 
let the game be over forever. <laughs> yes or no? Okay. Fine. Nevertheless, so let's draw x t graph because the question says plot. We draw the x t graph of motion. We have to draw x t graph. Now I suggest that you start with a lot of space about. All right. Is there need of pencil? I don't think so. If you draw it nicely, you can draw it with a ruler and a pen also. All right. If you want to draw it properly, then you can use a ruler. Otherwise, it's fine. So here is origin. Start from here. Read it again. See, you have to read questions multiple times. Each step is how many meter long? One meter. And takes how many seconds? One second. One second. Okay. So suppose you start at zero and this is one second, two second, three second, four, five, six, seven, and so on so forth. We'll continue. Each step is one meter, right? And it will continue like that. Okay. So in one meter, the doctor will go from zero to one. Do you realize that in one second, one meter? But at first step, forward. Then second step also forward. How many steps forward? Five. 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 So five steps in five seconds. Mm -hmm. Is this clear so far? The yes, graph will yes. be a slanting like that. Understood? Yes. Then what next? Three, yeah. step backward. Three steps backward, and every step takes one second, right? So from five five, it'll go to three steps backward. So one, two, and three. So after eight seconds, you get two. Did you understand this? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. After eight seconds, understood. What next? Again, five forward in five seconds. So, five forward in five seconds. So, five seconds from eight is how much? Eight, nine, how much? Thirteen. Yes or no? Yes. Sure. Eight plus five, thirteen. Okay. So, at thirteen seconds, where would the drunkard be? Four meters. Five meter ahead. Already at two meter. Walks five meter in five seconds. Clear or not? Yes. So, would we add? Seven. Understood. So from this to this somewhere. Did you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Like this, what will happen now? Same pattern will continue. Correct or not? Yes. Okay. But where is the pit? Thirteen meter. So when the drunkard will reach thirteen meter. But first of all, the drunkard will have to go back by how many? Three steps. Three steps. So from seven to three steps back means at four. 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 Clear or not? Yes. And at that time, t will be how much? Thirty. Thirty. Sixty. Six, Sixty. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Three steps backward. So four to six. Understood. Everything clear so far? Yes. Or not clear? Yes. Five forward, three back. Five forward, three back. That's how it is going on. And every step takes one second. In the five seconds, three seconds. Five seconds, three seconds. Like that. Got it? Okay, so reach is four. How is it? Starts again. So from four to five. Five steps forward. So up to nine. nine. Yes or no? Yes. And at what time? At what time? From 16. 5 seconds forward. At what time? 21. So there would be 17, 18, 19, and 20, and 21. Did you understand that? Like this, it will continue, obviously. Not fit the notebook mark. Yes, For that, you have to take. Is appropriate in the Kali Augur and Doit is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 5 here, and then 10 here, and then 15 here, 15, 20, like that. Then it would look like this. Okay? 
Never mind. Fine. So it will continue like this. You can draw it at home always. No problem. Now, what does the question say? Draw this graph. Now I am sure you can draw the graph further on your. Okay. How do you draw it? Do the way. Determine graphically and otherwise how long the drunkard takes to fall in a pit 13 meter away. So we have to find at what time will the drunkard fall here? Question clear? Okay, moves 5 forward, 3 backward. So is that 2? How much time did it take? 5 eight forward, seven. 3 backward. Eight how many seven. times? 8 seconds. Clear or not? Yes. Sure? Yes. 5 four forward and 3 forward backward. backward. 5 plus 3 8. So in 8 seconds the drunkard is at here. Now in next 5 seconds the drunkard will go from 2 to 7 and then come back from 7 to 4 in next 3 seconds. So after 16 seconds the drunkard is at 4 meter. Can you understand? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay then allow 5 seconds more. Allow 5 seconds more. So goes to 9. Then what will happen? Three steps, 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 no, because 5 forward means 11. Yeah. Is the pit at 11? No. Where's the pit? 13. 13. So, one more time 5 forward and 3 backward. So, reach is 8. eight. And time would be 13 30 seconds. seconds. Is that clear? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Sure. Yes. What happened now? From, from 8, the drummer will start to move. Moves 5 steps forward. forward. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Alright, so it's actual time for all of us. Okay. So at what time? At what time will drunkard fall in the pit? 37 seconds. Yes. Sure. 37 seconds. That you can draw from the graph also. The moment the graph reaches 13, that's it. Do you realize what I am saying? Yes. You keep drawing the graph, the moment graph reaches 30, that's it. Okay? So you have to find out when does the graph reach 30. Okay? Shall we proceed? Make sure you finish the remaining thing. Okay, there is no calculation here, you just have to think about it. Right? That's why I am erasing everything off here. So, the graph is.
negative. There is no doubt about it. Is that clear? Yes. Let's say the driver applies brake, so acceleration will be in the opposite direction to velocity. Uh, the speed will decrease, but by the time the vehicle stops, obviously it would have moved some distance. Do you understand what I am saying? Yes. I'm sure you would have experienced this in your life as well. That when brakes are applied, the vehicle doesn't stop right here. You will travel some distance before it stops. That distance is called stopping. What is it called? Stopping distance. Okay. So here the brakes have been applied. So from this point to this point, the brakes are continuously applied. Right? And the vehicle slows down, slows down, slows down and stops. So what do you think? Stopping distance for a vehicle. Should it be more or less? Less. Yes. Less is better or more is better? Less. Yes. Less is better? Yes. Sure? Yes. yes. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Why? Because if it's very big, even if you apply brake, the vehicle will not stop. Okay? Correct or not? Yes. yes. You understood what I am saying? Yes. So, after brakes are applied, the vehicle should stop in a less duration or a less distance as well. It should stop immediately. Correct or not? So, if it travels more distance, then what is the use of brake? It is empty of footage. You get what I said? Yes, so, what is good? Stopping distance should be small. Yes. That is good. Understood? So, let's find out the relation between stopping distance. Suppose we call it D. Let's say stopping distance is D. Understood? Let's say stopping distance is D. Let's find out relation between D, V0 and A. And assuming constant acceleration. Assuming constant acceleration. While it's not true every night, but in many situations it is true. If the driver is skilled enough, then the driver can have constant acceleration for applying brake. Okay, let's start. If acceleration is constant, we can do what? Use kinematics. Use equations of kinematics. Kinematics are checked. So don't say use kinematics. Right? Whatever we have studied in this chapter is kinematics. Equations of kinematics can be used, right? So we are not interested right now in how much time it stops. We are interested in, in how much distance will it stop. Did you get that? Yes. Okay. Basically, that means we should use third equation. Do you know that? Yes, yes. Because we know the initial velocity is the final velocity and we have to get a relation upon 2a delta i equal to v square minus v square. A is a displacement from here to here is d. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Sure, everyone got that? Yes, sir. Displacement from initial to final position is d because the distance between these two points is v square. Final velocity square. Zero. zero. Minus. Initial velocity v zero. zero. Understood? Yes. Right? There are no numbers in this question. We just put all the details. So, we get a is equal to what do we get? A is equal to minus V0 square. Minus V0 square, v zero square, zero square D. upon 2D. Two D. D. Or conversely, you can say D is equal to minus V0 square, square by 2A also, whichever you want to find. Did you understand? Yes. Okay. Whether if you want to find A, you can put it this way. If you want to find D, you can put it this way. Right? Okay. Now, what have we got here? A couple of things first. This acceleration looks like it is negative. Well, yes, it is negative because you took right side positive and yes. acceleration is towards the left yes. side. Okay, that's necessary. Acceleration is mm -hmm. speed increases. Yes, speed will increase. Is that okay or not? Yes. yes. Okay. Right? So obviously the acceleration will be opposite to the velocity direction. And that's why it's negative here because left side is negative. Anyways. So, next thing. Here it might look like this d is negative. How can a distance be negative? It's not negative. I tell you what. V0 square positive, 2 positive, but acceleration itself is negative. So, this minus sign and acceleration negative will both remove each other and d will be positive. Did you understand? Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. Right? So, this is the meaning of stopping distance. 
minus b0 square by 2a. Yes, right? So, how it will be removed? Minus sign. How? Okay, no problem. Same question. a is equal to minus b0 square. Then a is equal to minus b0 square. b0 square is positive. Yeah. Then minus, no, minus b0 square. So, acceleration is negative. What is negative? B G minus sign क्या आते हैं? देखा तो करो right side में B G minus sign क्या आते हैं? Initial velocity positive है ना? Initial velocity square is always positive yes or no? Yes. बच्चे वो यहाँ क्या है minus है? B G है? Two two negative number है positive number? Positive हाँ दो हाँ से बच्चे B G positive yes understood what I am saying right? चलो एक example दे दे so this is basically the distance in which it would stop. This is the distance in which the vehicle would stop. Clear? Okay. Yes. Let's go to exercise question. That's the topic by the name. Let's go to exercise question. Under the level, you know, this is example three point seven. Okay. This is just like theory. The example itself is just like a theory. Now, in the exercise, there is a question. Number six, I think. Yes. Okay, that is based on the same idea. Let's read it. A car moving along a straight highway with how much speed? One twenty-six kilometer per hour. Okay, let's draw a diagram. This is exercise question three point six. This is a car. Let's say it's moving towards right side, and right side is positive. So its initial velocity is towards that. How much is that initial velocity? One twenty-six kilometers per hour. Is this SI unit? No. Then we have to convert to SI unit. So convert to meter per second. So one twenty-six kilometer is how many meter? Ten raised to three. Of what? One hour is how many seconds? Six. Is that my so this is what you have to do. So you can always write this as thousand two zeros will get cancelled. And here's the short for everyone. If you cancel all factors, it's just multiply by five divided by eighty. If you can remember that. If you can't remember, no problem. Kilometer to meter and hour to a second. Easy. Got it? So we are going to do it. Got to divide one twenty six by eighty. How much is it? One twenty six into thousand upon three six zero zero is it? Are you sure? Ten by thirty six is three point thirty six by ten is three. How much is it? Thirty five. Okay or not okay? Yes. See in exam this is one of the most common mistakes. When units are not given in SI, you have to be careful. You have to convert them to SI. Calculation में बहुत ध्यान रखो पड़े हो। या हूँ ना वही के वाके आम ना था। एक दम मत है क्यों? घरे वाले थोड़े पड़े हैं। अरे यार तो पड़ गया। Right? I hope everyone did it. Yes sir. And don't forget what I told you about calculator. The more you use it, the more your brain will be lazy. इन्हें बच्ची तो एक टाइम है वहाँ से कि फोर प्लस फोर एक कैलकुलेटर में करता जुआ मोड़ सो, राइट? नॉट जोकिंग, एंड दैट वुड बी डिजास्टर। ओके यू यू कैन क्लियरली कैंसल दिस विथ सिक्स एंड सिक्स सो थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी वन। ये तो इजी है तो, बस तो नहीं इजी है ना? ओके तो बी जीरो इज दिस। व्हाट a car is moving along a straight highway with a speed 126 km per hour is brought to a stop. Is brought to a stop. Means we have to stop it. Okay. Within a distance of 200 meters. Did you understand? Yes. yes. So, in how much distance does it have to stop? 200 meters. Is that clear or not clear? Yes. Sir. Sure. Okay. So, this is initial position. And that's final position. Now, what is the retardation of the car? Assume uniform. What do we have to find? 
what do we have to find? Retardation. And assuming it is uniform. Do you know the meaning of retardation? Yes. What is the meaning? Magnitude of acceleration, when speed is decreasing. That's called retardation. So basically, if you want to find retardation, you have to find this. Clear or not? Yes. You have to find the magnitude of acceleration. Is it fine? Don't be surprised by simple. I'm not going to say Okay? Modulus means magnet. So A find for our name. V0 known, V known, and this is assumed uniform. Which equation suitable? A equal to minus B to the square of minus. This one. Yes. Okay. If you want to use it, suppose the third equation of kinematics, isn't it? 2A delta x equal to B squared minus B zero. I don't even bother remembering all this. I don't know nothing. Get your basics clear. Everything is done using this term. 2. A we want to find. Delta x. How much is delta x from initial to final position? Very equal to v square final velocity square zero, zero. minus initial velocity square 35 square 35. how much 1.70 70 that is 30 minus square 1 to 2 okay or not do you all know the shortcut to square numbers with 5 or not who knows the shortcut to square number with 5, ending in 5? Point on out. Out to join. Why do we correct? Asti na apkhodu kodu apne. Sharmati sharmati kya jau de. What is it? You only know half. So you get half part. <laughs> Subsidic number is? 4, 3, 4, 5, 12, and 5 squared. Very good. Sit down. Correct. See, it's very simple. Take the last digit, which is 5, square it, so you get 25. Is it okay? Yes. Right? Right. Take this digit, the other ones, 3. What's the integer after 3? What's the integer after 3? 4. 4. Is that okay or not? Yes. 3 into 4? 12. That's right. Yes. 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 Clear? Yes. Clear or not clear? Yes. But this was only with 5 at the end. No, don't, don't try it with 31. Also, don't forget, I have told you that you need to remember the squares up to 30. Okay? Anyway, so this is 1 to 2, 5. Well, then, so what is A equal to? Minus 1 to 2, 5 divided by 2 into 200. Do you see? It's just like this formula. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Sure. Yes. Okay, so if you would have used the formula, I would have jumped to this spot directly. Nevertheless, thank you. Now, do you all see why acceleration will turn out to be negative? And how much will it be? Got out, can be. That's the point. Unit talk, unit talk is the other one who is the same gamma. They will have the same set. Done. Minus. 3.06 meter per second square. You know the other. What is the other? Four. What is the other? Thank you, Nick. Fine. Yes. You have to divide 1 to 2, 5 by 4. Don't worry about these zeros. Zeros are so nice in multiplication division. Right? So if you divide this by 4, you get 306.25 or something like that. Correct? Once you get 306.25, pass it to the minus 3.06 because there is a 100 in the number. What that? Yes. Negative. But this is not the answer. Read the question again. What do we have to find? Retardation. Retardation. So what will be the final answer? 3.06 meters per second square. Write it down. Retardation required is 3.06 meter per second square. Word now. For now, exam my mind towards now. Word exam to be very clear. So we have to calculate the bench books also. What is the mark model?
Okay. There's something more here. How long does it take for the car to stop? How long does it take? Okay, I'll just do it here. How long? How long means how much time? How much time will the car take to stop from here to here? You have to find that. Which equation suitable? First, second or third? Second? Oh, 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 first is suitable? Yes. yes. First is better than second actually. Second also works, but it's a bad idea in my opinion. Understood? Okay, so first one. Which one? What's the first equation? B equal to A0 plus AD. Okay, what's the final velocity? Zero. Initial velocity? 126. 135. Okay, plus acceleration? Minus 3.06. Or, if you don't want to divide, you can write it as 125 by 400. Alright? Okay, and E we have to find. Time interval. How much time interval does it take to go to this? Or Hopefully you will realize why I did not write 3.06. It's easier this way. Calculation mara pasi to me kar son to tum ne exam koi nahi hai. You have to do it before I do it. Please, hurry up. Finish. That's why I said we should take one to two five. It makes it easier. We can get that, but still it would be much easier than that. You can check it if you don't believe me. Done, right? It's the same. 
four. So it will take eleven point four seconds. Break mark was eleven seconds. It will break. This will be like your clock, which is moving at a high speed. Okay, and brakes are not working properly. Now, here is a simple question for you. In this particular case. If for any any case in general, actually, not like suppose some particular acceleration is given, a fixed acceleration. Let's say, for example, minus five meter per second. Right. Then the question is, how does stopping distance change with speed? Okay. So, for example. If the acceleration value always remains the same, if the acceleration value always remains the same, right? Then, in one case, suppose v zero is is what? In one case, suppose v zero is let's say twenty meter per second, and in another case, v zero is forty meter per second. Then how much is the stopping distance here, and how much is the stopping distance here? Can you find both the cases? Come on, can you find the stopping distance in both the cases? Hurry up. What is the acceleration you have to take? Minus, minus five, five meters per second. Can you find the stopping distance? Do it quickly. We are trying to get moment. And leave it in fractions. Understood what I am saying? If it turns out to be fractions, then leave it in fractions. I don't think it will, but done. What's the stopping distance in this case? Forty meters. Forty meters. Sure. Yes. Over here. I hope you are using these relations because that's a very quick way to do. Correct or not? So what? What do you get? First one forty. Sure. Second one sixty. Let's take one more. Case three. Suppose V zero is sixty meter per second. Okay, let's finish this case first. Suppose v zero is sixty meter per second. Then what will be stopping it? It will be three sixty meter. Okay. Why am I putting these numbers here? Look at the relation. If you double the velocity from here to here, the velocity is doubled. Yes or no? Yes. Then the stopping distance is not doubled. It becomes four times because two squared is four. You see what I'm saying? Yes. yes. From here to here, if you triple the velocity, this is the triple velocity. Correct or not? Yes. 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 No. Triple yes. into what? Into three. Then what happens to stopping distance? Is stopping distance triple? No. It is how many times? Nine. Nine. Ah, six times. Nine. 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 Nine times ten. Four into nine is thirty-six. Clear or not? Yes. Correct or not? So when The velocity becomes three times. The stopping distance becomes nine times. Did you get that? Yes or no? Why so? All answers lie here. If acceleration is a given constant, then this would mean d is proportional to two is a constant, and minus sign doesn't matter really. D is proportional to v zero squared. What is the meaning of this? Whatever changes occur in v zero, its square changes occur in t. That is, if v velocity becomes three times, then the stopping distance doesn't become three times. It will become three square times. That is nine times. Did you understand? Yes or no? This is called proportional. What is called proportional? I'm sure you have studied this earlier. Get to yah thing to come and down upon. I will give you that. All right. So d is proportional to v zero squared. So this is why driving fast is very risky. 
driving at 20 km per hour is four times safer than driving at 40 km per hour. Do you understand that? Car ke brake marks are though, jetla distance must stop say is eight hour ago. Then driving at 60 km per hour is nine times riskier than driving at 20 km per hour. Do you realize that gradually as the speed increases, the risk mount up so much. So driving at 100 km per hour is 25 times riskier. Means you are more, you are likely to get 25 accidents compared to someone who is driving at 20 km per hour and gets one accident. Why? Because even if you left by brake, the vehicle will not stop. What kind of something? Got it or not? Right? So that's why driving fast is very risky because dropping distance is proportional to the square of velocity, not to the velocity. Right? For a given way. Yeah, yeah. So that's it about this topic. Okay. Ah, yeah, I have one more. What is dropping distance proportional to? Square of the initial velocity.